oil change on this transit today. So I'll do a bit of a how-to video and tell you the socket sizes and stuff like that. Well, I'll get straight into it and get on with it and try and keep the video short. Feels like this has been cross-threaded to me. And the way it's moving, it's wobbling. It don't look good anyway. Next, remove the oil filter housing. I was gonna give this a clean, a bit of brake clean around it. You don't want this crap going back into the, like the O-ring and stuff like that when you're putting it back on. So I'll just give this a quick wipe down before I pull it off and then I'll show you taking it off. And the oil filter housing is a 27. Right, we'll get this fil oil filter housing off now. flipping tight keep your oil tub under this because you will get a lot of oil in it covered in it oh, you bastard I dropped it in look at this crap wear gloves when you do this wear a bit of protection I should have put gloves on really but look yeah, but that's the oil filter out and lost in the oil tub. Somewhere in there. As you see a lot of my videos, I do do a lot of stupid little mistakes. But this is the way it is in real life, isn't it? There's a crapper in there. Well, I'll let this drip, drip out for a bit and drain for a while. And then I'll continue the video in a bit once I've given everything a bit of a clean. What you want to do here is get yourself a little screwdriver or a little pick tool this is the old o-ring get it under it and then it just pops off you should have a new o-ring that comes inside your kit You don't want to put this down on the floor and get it dirty either. So we'll get it straight in now. Basically just drop it in. And that's it, it's in. There's the O-ring. You want to put a little bit of oil on this. So I've got a bit of oil over here. Just a little bit and just spread it around. Like that. It's just when you put it back in the van, it don't pinch. You want to do is now feed it back on into that groove there all the way around and that's it make sure it's not twisted severely or anything which this looks all good and this is ready to go back in now and then if you're struggling to locate this going that way screw it backwards put in a bit of pressure on it, kick it backwards for a little while, that's it there, it does located, and that's it then. This is why you need to put oil on the o-ring there, because when it gets to this point now, it can start to pinch and it'll twist and then it'll break, which is what you don't need. So that's it, pretty much. And then you need to torque this up to 25 newton meters. It says it on all of the housings. And just go slow with it, don't rush. The sump plug as well will be torqued up to 25. But I have got to be careful with this because it's been cross-threaded at, at some point in its life. But that's it now. We'll go back up top and chuck some oil in. R roughly, I think it's about 6.5 litres it holds. But just add it slowly. Well, if it's 6.5 litres, I'll put it in a 5 litre tub. And then I'll start checking on the dipstick and just keep topping it up bit by bit. But wipe off any excess oil so you can check in a bit to see if there's any leaks. So just get off as much oil as you can, that's there. What I do here is drop a little towel here just 
in case I spit anything. What we'll do is now let that settle for a while and then dipsticks down there. We'll dip it and double check it. I've left it for a few minutes now, so we're gonna check the R level. <coughs> Get it nice and clean. As you can see, it's up to where my thumb is there. So, just under halfway. I'll chuck some more oil in now, but we'll add it bit by bit now. I'm inside the van now. Every time you put the ignition on, you've got this annoying bleep. I'll show you now. It's saying service oil now. The way you reset it is, put the ignition on to position two, so two clicks. Press down the brake pedal and the accelerator at the same time, like this. And keep them pressed. Then it'll come up, service oil, reset complete. Then you release the brake and accelerator. <coughs> and now it's gone, ignition off. Then, start it up, and it's gone. So that's how you reset the service oil now. You just depress the brake and accelerator together, hold them down, and it'll do its reset procedure. Leave them down until it says reset complete, and then release, and the job's done. I'll let it run now for five to ten minutes. Just let it idle. Let the oil get around the engine in and fill the filter up and I'll just double check the oil level again. And then that's it. It's all done. Well, that's the service light reset now and the oil change is all done. I'm going to go out and double check the level in a sec. I'm going to switch the van off now. Yeah, I'll go out and double check the level again, just to be sure. And that's it. That's the oil change. It's simple. I'll put a link in the description of the tools that I used. I'll also put some links to oil, oil filter and the tools possibly because the socket for the oil filter housing is quite big so yeah i'll put a link in the description to the stuff i've used and that's it and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing please and yeah give the video a like if you liked it right see you in the next one